Guys Pro VIP Outdoors. We're on part four of disassembling our deer. So we got both quarters off. We got the neck off. Now we're moving on to the back strap. When we're looking at the back strap, the back strap is actually hidden underneath a lot of this surface flesh or meat. Okay, so what we want to do first is expose it. I usually expose it from right down here and you can start just working it back a little bit. Um, the further you get back, the sooner it's exposed. So again, there's meat up here. Now you can just see that there's silver skin that's attaching it. Now that's all we're gonna do is pull that away all the way down to where we started that, that rear hip. Let's make sure it's nice and exposed so when we get into cutting her up, we're looking good. Okay, a little bit of silver skin here. I'm gonna slice that. Another thing slicing that silver skin does, this is eventually where my knife's gonna come out. This is the top of the rib cage. Um, so we'll pull that down, trim that off, do the bulldog will like that. And what you have now, you have the top of your vertebrae, and then down here you have the rib cage. You could feel that. I have filleted a lot more tuna than I have deer in my day. So what I usually do is I find that vertebrae and I treat this like a tuna loin. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with that, finding that vertebrae, cut down on it, and come all the way down the backbone. Go back through, make a deeper cut. And did you hear that? So when I'm moving my knife along, you're gonna see that knife bump along the rib cage, see that? That's how I know I'm deep enough. Now what I do, because I'm right-handed and I feel more comfortable this way, I come to this side, I open it up, get all the way down to the ribs, and then I'm gonna turn my knife upward and push down. And you're just gonna work all the way in this motion right here, all the way down the rib, the back strap here. Again, this is just like a tuna loin. If you guys have ever done a tuna, I guarantee you'll be able to do a back strap. If you haven't done a tuna, we have that video up on our channel as well. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, why is he using a small Havilah knife when he's at home and he has access to so many other knives? Well, I've been a big believer in practice. What is it? Play the way you practice, practice the way you play, something like that? I don't know. No, guys, this is the knife I use in the field and I'm so comfortable with it. It's actually the knife I prefer when I'm at home also. Just because, again, I'm so used to it, you know? get used to something and you become efficient with it use it. it doesn't matter someone might use another tool a little bit better than you and vice versa okay so now we got to the end and there's a little bit of a a hump right here in that hip bone that is where the back strap ends so what i do is i take my knife turn it rotate right down there and it actually points in at an angle And that's how we get the back strap out okay thanks for watching that was part four on dismantling our deer with the back strap make sure you like our facebook page leave a comment down there on how we're doing and subscribe to our youtube channel thanks a lot